When I first decided I'm going to control my life again, I started optimizing different parts of my performance and productivity. But there was always one thing causing me problems, and that was my bad memory. And whatever I tried to do to improve it, nothing seemed to work. Until I came across this technique. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see you here. My name is Greg and I'm an online entrepreneur creating content that will help you become more productive and mindful. Now, if those topics interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, I'm gonna share with you one special technique that will help you dramatically improve your memory in no time. Now, this special technique helped me become much more productive, helped me remember much more in a very short time, and consequently, I was able to learn faster, work better, and achieve amazing results in my private and business life. Actually, I went from earning 600 bucks per month to creating and building a multi-million dollar business in just a couple of years. Now, of course, I cannot attribute everything to this special technique, but once I learned how to improve my memory, I started getting amazing results because I was able to remember so much more important facts, important data. Um, I remembered the names and so on. And most importantly, everything that I read, you know, uh, about different habits or productivity or healthy eating or meditation or whatnot, um, I was able to remember the most important things. And then creating habits became just so much easier because I remembered so much. And this technique is called chain linking. Now here is how chain linking works. Let's say you watch one of my videos on flow. Uh, you wanna get in this flow state, in the zone every single day, and you know if you wanna do it, you need to do a special morning routine uh, together. So you're already doing a couple of things from my morning routine, but you need to add a couple of more things into your routine uh, to be able to get in the zone. Now for this example, let's say you need to do the following. You need to remember your dreams when you wake up. You need to drink a big glass of water. Then let's say you need to meditate a bit. You need to do a short workout and then you need to brush your teeth. Let's say those are the five things you need to add to your existing morning routine in this specific order. Now, if you read this routine somewhere or if you just watch one of the videos about uh, getting the flow, then of course it's super simple to remember those five steps, right? I mean, it's just like some basic things you need to do every single day. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna remember them for one or two days, you're gonna try to do it, and after a couple of days, you will forget one of the things, and after a couple of weeks, you will simply mix everything up and totally forget uh, that you ever learned about this morning routine, right? Let me know if this happened to you before in the comment section. I would really want to know about that. Guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe and join our amazing community. So the question is, how can you remember this exact routine or how can you remember more advanced words or certain things in order? How does the chain linking works? Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to make an image of every activity that you need to do. And this image has to be as crazy as possible. It, it can be grotesque, it can be strange. Um, just make it as crazy as possible, make it as memorable as possible. So, for example, uh, we have, you need to remember the dreams, right? That's the first thing you need to do. So how can you make this image in your mind? How can you make it up? So, for example, you can say, or you can think of uh, waking up in a castle and this castle is, uh, let's say, about the clouds um, and there are like dragons in the castle and everything is super weird and once you wake up, you see the castles and you see a prince or uh, a princess next to you and, and, and it looks like a dream, right? So this is the first image you make. Then the second thing is you need to do an image or you need to create an image for drinking a lot of water. So how do you do this? Maybe you imagine you have a big glass of water or um, there's a barrel and you, you try to drink it, right? And once you do it, this water that comes out, uh, you, you become totally soaked and there's water around floating and maybe the water is red colored, like looks like blood. I mean, make it as extreme as possible. You can use your imagination for that. Then the next thing is, is meditation, right? So you're still in the castle, you, you're just like, you're totally wet and you try to sit down, you try to meditate, you try to calm your mind because everything that's happening is super weird. And once you start meditating, or just before you do it, you see a small dragon sitting next to you in this position, um, trying to meditate. And this dragon has fire in his mouth and um, he's all green and everything looks super strange, right? And that's how you remember meditation. Then the fourth step is exercise. So imagine that this dragon 
after meditation is trying to catch you and is trying to use his fire to kill you or whatever, you know? Make it as extreme as possible, don't worry. And you're running around the castle and this dragon is trying to catch you and now everything is super weird and you just wanna wake up, right? This is the fourth step. And the fifth step is that um, you need to brush your teeth. So for example, this dragon's fire um, actually were caught by your mouth and, and now you have to brush your teeth because it's all um, black. And this is the fifth step of this process, all right? Now, whatever you need to remember, if these are words or sentences or certain um, habits, like in this example, um, try to make this image as crazy as possible. Once you do that, you need to connect those images into a story, right? So I was already creating a story when I was explaining those images, uh, but just connect this story together now. So you wake up in a castle, uh, once you do that, you try to drink from this barrel that is sitting next to you on the floor. And once you do that, you're all wet, you try to melt it. There's a dragon sitting in the corner. And then all of a sudden, this dragon tried to um, well, attack you and you're running around, you're working out. And then at the end, you're all black and your teeth is all black. And then you try to brush it just to make yourself cleaner, right? And this is the final and the most important step of this chain linking process. So you make those super weird images you connect them into a story, and the more crazy everything seems, the more memorable it's gonna be. You will never be able to forget the story again. And as a consequence, you will be able to remember each step of this morning routine for the rest of your life, in all orders, so from the beginning till the end, or and the other way around. And this is so powerful, this technique is so powerful, and you can use it, as I said, for remembering names or whatever else you need to remember. Now, if you combine this technique with the whole process of getting into flow, then your brain power will skyrocket and you will be able to do amazing things. Now, if you wanna learn how to do that, there's a video up here where you can learn how to get in the flow, in the zone every single day. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram, and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Oh, and don't forget to press the like button. See you.